Have you ever wondered if there are countries that might pay you to marry their women? Well, it's not just a fascinating thought, but a reality in some corners of the world. We're about to embark on a journey to explore the top 10 countries that offer financial incentives to those who choose to tie the knot with their women. We'll dive deep into the statistics behind this intriguing phenomenon. Stay tuned as we unravel the top 10 countries that pay you to marry their women. Starting our list at number 10 is Japan. A country known for its cherry blossoms and sushi, Japan is also grappling with a significant issue, a declining population and a low birth rate. As the years pass, the number of people in Japan continues to shrink significantly. The nation's birth rate has dwindled to a record low, a trend that poses serious social and economic risks for the country. In response to this, the Japanese government has come up with a unique solution. They're actively encouraging marriages by offering financial incentives. From subsidizing wedding expenses to providing financial support for raising children, the government is doing everything it can to boost the birth rate. These incentives are not only for Japanese citizens either. Foreigners who marry Japanese women are also eligible for these benefits making it an attractive option for those looking to start a family. So if you have a thing for Japanese culture and women, this might be your chance. At number 9 we have Russia. This vast country is known for its rich heritage, stunning landscapes, and a particular demographic peculiarity. It has a significant gender imbalance. For every 100 women there are only 86 men, this disproportion has compelled the government to take some unique measures. In a fascinating bid to rebalance the scales, the Russian government is offering incentives to foreign men who marry Russian women. They're not just talking about cultural enrichment or the chance to learn Russian, we're talking about financial incentives. Yes, you heard it right. The government is ready to offer substantial financial support and even tax breaks to those who help in its demographic mission. So, if you've been dreaming of a Russian romance, it might just be your lucky day. Not only would you be marrying into a rich culture, but you might also end up with a little extra cash in your pocket. In Russia, love might come with a bonus. Vietnam ranks 8th on our list. This Southeast Asian nation, known for its bustling cities and picturesque landscapes, also offers intriguing economic benefits for foreigners who choose to marry Vietnamese women. The Vietnamese government, in an effort to encourage international marriages, has implemented a series of financial incentives that are quite compelling. For instance, they provide tax deductions and housing subsidies, which can significantly reduce living costs. Moreover, the Vietnamese government also offers employment assistance to ensure a stable income stream for the newlyweds. In terms of numbers, foreign grooms marrying Vietnamese brides can expect a reduction in their tax liabilities by up to 20%, and housing subsidies can reach up to a whopping 50%. Not to mention the employment assistance program has a success rate of 80%. So it's not just about the love for faux and spring rolls, marrying in Vietnam could be more rewarding than you think. Coming in at number 7 is Thailand. A tropical paradise known for its rich culture and friendly locals, Thailand offers more than just picturesque landscapes. The Thai government has been encouraging foreign men to marry Thai women through a series of financial incentives. This policy aims at boosting the country's population and diversifying the gene pool. According to recent data, men who marry Thai women can receive a dowry, a traditional practice in Thailand. This dowry can range anywhere from a few thousand to several million baht, depending on the family's social status and the bride's education. Furthermore, the Thai government offers a yearly stipend for couples who stay married for at least three years. This policy has led to an increase in international marriages in Thailand, with the country witnessing a 20% increase in the past five years. So, for those looking for love in Thailand, there's an added benefit. In Thailand, love and financial benefits go hand in hand. China makes it to the sixth spot on our list. This populous nation has seen a significant gender imbalance over the years, with males outnumbering females. This imbalance has led to a unique circumstance where the Chinese government is incentivizing marriages with Chinese women. To address this imbalance, the government offers a range of benefits for those who choose to marry a Chinese woman. These incentives include housing assistance, tax breaks, and even subsidies in some regions. China is also home to a burgeoning economy, which adds another layer of appeal to this arrangement. Statistically speaking, for every 100 females, there are approximately 115 males. This imbalance has led to the creation of these incentives, aimed at encouraging more marriages and ultimately, a more balanced population. The incentives are a strategic solution to address the demographic challenge while offering substantial benefits to those who choose this path. 
In China, marriage could offer more than just companionship. India secures the fifth spot on our list. This vibrant and diverse nation is home to a long-standing tradition known as the dowry system. Despite being illegal for decades, it continues in many parts of the country. The dowry system is a cultural practice where the bride's family offers gifts, cash, and property to the groom's family as part of the marriage agreement. While this practice has been criticized for its potential to promote greed and social issues, it's interesting to note how it can lead to financial benefits for the groom. Reports suggest that the average dowry in India could range from a few thousand to several million rupees, depending on various factors like social standing and the groom's education. However, it's essential to understand that the dowry system is not without its drawbacks and controversies. It's a topic of intense debate in India, with many advocating for its complete abolition. In India, tradition might come with a financial advantage. At number 4, we have Greece. This Mediterranean gem, known for its rich history and stunning landscapes, has taken an innovative approach to encourage familial growth. The Greek government offers several financial incentives to promote marriage and boost population growth. A significant initiative includes a monthly stipend of nearly 200 euros for each child born to a married couple. This scheme, aimed at combating Greece's declining birth rate, has been active for several years now. Moreover, the government also provides a one-time tax-free grant of 1,000 euros to newlyweds to support their new life together. These incentives, coupled with lower tax rates for married couples, make Greece a country that truly invests in matrimonial bonds. In terms of numbers, these initiatives have led to a notable increase in marriages. In the past five years alone, Greece has seen a 10% increase in marriages. In Greece, marriage could be a path to financial stability. Italy makes it to the top three on our list. Known for its romantic cities and charming countryside, Italy is facing a significant population decline. The Italian government has responded with a unique solution, incentivizing marriage and procreation. The country's population has been steadily decreasing, with a decline of over 100,000 people in the past year, alone. To combat this, the Italian government offers a range of incentives for couples to tie the knot and start a family. These include tax credits, subsidized childcare, and even cash bonuses for each child born. The government has allocated billions of euros to these initiatives, hoping to boost the country's birth rate and stabilize the population. And it's not just for Italian citizens. The incentives are also available to foreign couples who choose to settle in Italy, making the country an attractive option for those looking to start a family. In Italy, love and marriage could come with a financial boost. South Korea comes in second place. Known for its vibrant culture and technological advancements, South Korea is grappling with a significant demographic challenge, a low birth rate. As the birth rate dips to one of the lowest globally, the government is pulling out all the stops to encourage its citizens to marry and start families. In an attempt to reverse the trend, the South Korean government has rolled out numerous incentives. These range from housing benefits to childcare support and even direct cash incentives. For instance, a newlywed couple could receive up to 7 million won, which is roughly $6,000 just for saying I do. The government's efforts seem to be paying off. Recent statistics indicate a slight uptick in the marriage rate giving hope to a nation eager to secure its future. So if you're planning to walk down the aisle, South Korea could be the place to do it. In South Korea tying the knot might come with an unexpected bonus. And topping our list at number 1 is Singapore. Known for its impressively high standard of living, Singapore faces a peculiar challenge, a declining birth rate. To combat this, the government has rolled out a series of considerable financial incentives aimed at encouraging marriage and childbirth. For instance, the Baby Bonus Scheme offers cash gifts and contributions to child development accounts, which can amount to a substantial sum. Moreover, there's the Parenthood Provisional Housing Scheme, which provides affordable interim rental flats for couples awaiting the completion of their first housing. Additionally, couples can also benefit from the Proximity Housing Grant, which encourages married children and their parents to live close to each other for mutual care and support. This is in line with the traditional Asian value of filial piety. With such lucrative incentives, it's no surprise that Singapore takes the lead in this unique category. In Singapore, marriage could be a financially rewarding decision. There you have it, the top 10 countries that pay you to marry their women. From the enchanting east of Japan and China to the vibrant cultures of Greece and Italy, each offers a unique blend of tradition, incentives, and opportunity. 
delve deeper into these countries, their customs, and the fascinating stories they hold. It's a big world out there, full of possibilities. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content like this. Until next time, keep exploring.